Hello and welcome, my name's Jessica Rose. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a beaded Christmas tree. You can use these for all types of things. You can use them to go on your tree, just pop a little bit of ribbon at the top, or you can make them into necklaces, or you could even have a go at some small ones for earrings. So they're a lot of fun. What we need for this project are a selection of crystals. So I'm using these kind of Christmassy colors, um, Mine are all four millimeter bicone beads. You could use uh, any, any ones you like. Bicone beads work really well for this project because they fit nicely with each other. I'd recommend four mil or maybe three mil if you're doing a more intricate design. Then we have our wires. So I'm using 0.8 millimeter gold plated wire for the outside and I'm using a 0.4 millimeter gold plated wire for my wrapping. And I have my jewelry pliers, so I've got some side cutters to cut the wire. I've got my chain nose pliers, which are the pointy ones, flat on the inside. And I also have some round nose pliers. And I also have uh, some flat nose pliers, which I may or may not need when I'm shaping my outside. So, that's all we need, let's get started with making the project. The first thing I want to do is create my Christmas tree shape. And I will warn you now, it's always a little bit experimental, they always come out slightly different, uh, but that's part of the fun. So I'm gonna choose roughly the middle length of my wire and I'm working with, I'd say about 40 centimeters. Probably don't need all of that, but it's good to have plenty to work with. So I'm gonna start in the middle and I wanna create my top of my tree. So I'm gonna create my triangle. So I'm just gonna get some flat pliers and create a nice triangular shape. And I work a little bit with my pliers and a little bit with my fingers as I go through this project. That's why sometimes the flat ones are helpful as well. Get a nice straight edge. Okay, and then I'm gonna go a little way down and bend inwards to create the first top bit of my tree. And on the other side, I'm gonna do the same. Just cross that over. So I've got a nice triangle to start with. Then using the same pliers, I'm gonna go in a little bit, support the piece and bend down. And it's gonna go out a little bit as well to get that nice Christmas tree shape. Same on the other side. And I do my best to make them symmetrical, but they're never quite symmetrical, but I find that it doesn't matter too much because you still get a really nice effect that you can work with. So if I pull it in a little bit, that's a nice top. Then Keep going, using a mixture of my pliers and my hands to get the shape I want. Being gentle with the wire as well. So I'm go down a little bit. I wanna come a bit further out than the first one this time. And bend across. Same on the other side. And I tend to aim to straighten them roughly at the same point as above. Okay. 
There we go. I've got my second one. I just need to do my final. that first one as a guide. Get some nice angles. I'm happy with that and then I'm going to do the final bit which is the trunk at the bottom. So take each side one at a time, bend it straight down this time. And I don't need loads of space for the trunk at the bottom. I'll try and keep it as symmetrical as I can. Just straighten those out. And bend across. Okay, once I'm happy, so I've just bent, I just bend across one of them and I'm going to wrap the other one over and I'm going to cut it right down because I just want to make a little loop and I don't need much for that. So I use my side cutters to just cut the wire and my round nose pliers right at the end, I'm going to go in and just make a little loop there. Or a little tuck, however you want to secure it. Lovely, and I'm going to do the same on this side. So thinking about where I want it, I'm just going to wrap this over to create a little loop there. And I'm going to just cut off the excess wire. Careful not to cut anything else. And just use my chain nose pliers to just tuck that right in. Okay, and that is the hardest part done. We have the base of our Christmas tree ready to fill with lots of lovely crystals. It is a little bit um, not flat, so I'm going to use my flat nose pliers very gently and just adjust the areas that need to be in line with each other. And then I'm ready to start wrapping on my beads. So I'm going to take a long length of 0.4 millimeter wire and I'm going to attach it right at the top. So I take a little bit into the top there and just wrap that around once or twice with the little end just to hold it in place. So with wire wrapping, wrapping is your attachment. So it's always a good thing to remember if you wrap things a couple of times, it's gonna be attached. Oh, 
so I'm happy with that. I'm going to cut off the little end with my side cutters, always using the flat side of your side cutters to get nice and snug in there. And every time I cut, I want to tuck the end in. So I'm using my chain nose pliers to just tuck that sharp end in because I don't want any sharp bits sticking out. I'll rub my finger over to make sure it's nice and secure. Wonderful. So now I'm going to create a loop at the top, which means I can attach this to a ribbon to go on my tree or a chain for a necklace or whatever I like. So I'm going to use my round nose pliers for that and I'm going to work at the base of them to create a nice big loop. And I'm going to put the wire through there, lift it up and over to create my loop and then behind my tree shape and around. So if I take that off you can see the loop shape that I've made and I'm just going to adjust it to make it nice and central. I'm actually going to twist it to bring it to the front. And pop my pliers back in. It is a bit fiddly because you're working with a lot of wire at this stage but we do need a lot and it will get it will get smaller as we go along. So I'm just going to twist it around a couple of times and through the middle of the tree. And because I've got a bit of wrapping on one side, I'm going to do a little bit of wrapping on the other side. Just to even things out a little bit. And then I'm ready to start adding on my beads. So starting at the top, I'm going to do, you choose the pattern that you like to do. For this one, I'm going to start with green at the top and then maybe red or gold. I'm going to do each section a different colour. So I'll start with my green. One bead to begin with. Thread it all the way through. So I'm going to place it where I want it, hold it in place and wrap twice around one side. So I only need to wrap it twice but because I want my next layer of beads to be slightly lower I'm going to wrap a couple more times just to bring my wire down. Now I'm ready to wrap on two beads. I want to choose my placement. I might actually with this design be able to fit in a third bead there. I'm going to give that a try. Sometimes you plan a design but actually the shape will tell you exactly how it wants to be filled in. Let's give this a go. Mm, that does leave quite a gap at the top so I think I'm still going to go with two and then I'll do three on my next go. This is where working with smaller beads sometimes helps. So four mil is a little bit bigger. You could go with three mil. It just takes a little bit more time to create the piece. That's nice. I'm just gonna hold it in place and do my wrapping. And I'm essentially just gonna keep going in this way all the way down the piece. But I'll show you this first uh, triangle just so that you can kind of see about how we fit it all in because each shape is a little bit different. So this time I'm going to put three on. Thread it all the way down. And 
let's see where that fits. There we go. Hold the beads in place as you wrap on the end. So what we've done so far is just the top three and I'm gonna keep going down. So like on the one I made before, you can see I've got one, two, then three, and then I've got two rows of four. I think I'll fit in two rows of four here as well. Then in the next one, I just fit one in, which actually is really nice because it pulls the design together nicely when you do that. So I'm gonna do the same work way way down. So I've got two, three, four, and then it goes to five and even six, but I will follow the design. This one looks wider, so this one will probably be bigger. And then I've got two here in the bottom section, so I'll probably copy that here. And then I keep going all the way down. So I'm gonna meet you down here and we'll do the little trunk together. So go ahead and have a go at doing your wrapping and enjoy. So I filled up my tree with my design and all that's left to do is the trunk. So I'm gonna use some of these brown little crystals for that. So I've just brought the wire in to the area that I want it to, to start from. And I'm gonna go ahead and just do one at a time for the trunk to begin with. So I'll just wrap that hold that in place and do a double wrap. And these do take a little bit of time, but they're a really fun project to do. And I actually did them uh, this Christmas with my little one. Um, and I kind of helped with some of the wrapping. He chose all the beads and we put it on the Christmas tree, which is a really nice way to add a little decoration in that's very personal. Then I'm gonna go and do Another one. And wrap across. And in terms of where to buy your supplies, people often ask about where to buy their jewelry making supplies. I get mine from a whole mixture of places. Sometimes I'll get them on Amazon or eBay. Um, or we have a whole list of suppliers on our website at Jewelers Academy. If you go to jewelersacademy.com forward slash suppliers, I'll put the link below. You can find a selection of ones that people use in our community. And another. It does get a bit more fiddly at the bottom because we've got less and less space to work with. So you might have to start threading through this way. And you just have to be a little bit gentle that you don't create a knot with your wire. So just go nice and slow. And I'll often use my finger just to spread it out before it comes in. And I'm ready for another one. It's almost like we're colouring in our shape with the beads. That's how I think about it. I 
If you do get a kink in your wire like this one here, that's okay, we can straighten it out. You just have to be a little bit gentle with your pliers. It's possible to break the wire if it does. Don't worry about it. You can always create another, you can always attach another piece of wire on. I think that might be my last bead. So when you come to your last bead, I'm just going to wrap it through a couple of times. Always the last one is the hardest because you've got such a small amount to work with at this stage of space. But that's okay, just take your time, you can do it. And when I'm ready, I'm just going to cut off the excess wire with my side cutters and use my chain nose pliers to just tuck that final bit in. Lovely. And there we have our finished Christmas tree. Like I said, you can use this for all sorts of things as a decoration, as a necklace. If you're adventurous, you can try some little ones for earrings. So I hope you enjoy making these and have fun with them. If you've liked this video, do give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so for lots more creative projects in jewelry making and also how you can start and grow a successful jewelry business. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you on another project very soon. Bye for now.